Hello YouTube. This is a surprise spinning box. I bought it for myself and I forgot. Um, I believe that this is the April 2019 spinning box, but we're going to find out because I don't remember which one I bought. And this is my first unboxing video. Ah, there's a feather! Look, there's a feather! It's the April one. It's the birds of a feather one. And she has the chirp thing. I'm not big on wrapping, but I like the wrapping in this. It's always cute. Get the awesome postcard. Um, different prep, um, fiber prep information. So there's true woolen fiber prep, spinning style, semi woolen fiber prep, and the spinning style on that. Oh, there's a bookmark with a peacock on it. It says be bold, be and proud. That's cute. And the Camage Fiber Art card. A gazillion craft feathers! I may actually try to spin some feathers into something. Or maybe my son will just abscond with them and glue them to something. Alright, this is Blue Raspberry, well that's the bird, that's the inspiration piece. Let's see if we can find out who it's from. This is 60% alpaca, there are one ounce I believe. It is 40% Corydale, hand dyed, wash cold water, hand processed. This is by Alpaca Serenades, Ellen B. Acre Alpacas. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, it's a bat. I love bats. Look at those gorgeous colors. Look at that purple and blue. You know what? This is going to get blended with Mr. Max on my blending board. I have wanted to do a colorway like this for my Mr. Max the Murder Bunny, and that is perfect. Awesome! And then we have this cute little bird card, which I'm probably going to use as a bookmark. And... Bromley's Sun Sweetened Raspberry Tea. I'll probably have to check the ingredients on it and see if I can actually eat it. I can! Oh my goodness! I can actually eat this. I have the worst food allergies, guys. I always dread getting packages with food because it has coconut. I stop breathing. I always do put these back in the packages just because... I want to keep everything like properly together. Ooh, I think these are Rolex. This is Look Into the Eyes Twin Mommy Creations Dorset and Polypay. Ooh, it's a cute little braid. It's not super soft, but it's cute. It's kind of squidgy. It has a nice loft to it. Again, I am going to be deconstructing and reconstructing a lot of these. Um, I've been watching some some other YouTube videos, ha ha. And I, I for a long time, I was like, why would you deconstruct something that some that another fiber artist did? Like you would just, you know put it together as they intended. Um, and then I got looking at the, 
the like Grace Shalom Hopkins has a lot of deconstructed and reconstructed bats on her channel and I really like the things that she's done with them like it's not it's not wrecking the original artist's intent or anything it's just sort of like re-envisioning and I think that's kind of cool this oh that is super soft this is absolutely divine I don't know if you could see that awesome and amazing fiber okay let's see this is from Samantha J's Fiber Farm Kookaburra Products processed raw fiber hand spun French Angora Rabbit Spinning Lessons Spin Illusion Wheels Parkersburg PA awesome it's not quite local but it's like one state away Samantha J's Fiber Farm Merino Tensile for the spinning box so this is Merino and Tensile sweet that is just beautiful and I'm going to pair that with Angora probably one of my lighter color Angoras or I might dye some Angora. Who knows? Seems to be a lot of blues and purples and greens in this. It's just lovely. I like the jewel tones, but I'm probably going to pastel things out in the end. This one is Birds of a Feather 19 Micron Merino by Alexandra The Art of Yarn. And I love these cute little bags because they are reusable. Cool. This is nice. I, you know, Mer I'm not like a gigantic fan of Merino um, because it's like, yeah, everybody does Merino, but it really is a beautiful fiber. I mean, there's a reason why the Spanish ruled Europe with it. <laughs> It, it is just a fantastic fiber um, and this is just lovely and I this is definitely one that I will deconstruct um, I don't think I would like the yarn that I would get if I spun this across the top um, but I think that I will really like what I get from it yeah watch me not do this correctly on the there we go <laughs> um, I think I'll really like what I get from it if I deconstruct it. That is kind of cool. I like those colors. They're very birdy. Definitely love the reusable bags. Huge plus right there. This is April 2019 Spinning Box by Simply Squishy Birds of a Feather Feroxala? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the bird. Made with Merino Wool and Corydale Wool. There's their business card, Simply Squishy. Ooh, I think it's raw legs. Love me some raw legs. And I will probably just spin these right as they are um, because they're nice and prepped. Um, and then ply it with something. Ooh. Oh, these are pretty. This is just lovely. It's not, it's not like super, super soft, but this is really beautiful. Roll eggs by Simply Squishy. So cool. My roll eggs never stay together like that. This is Male Ring Necked Pheasant by Painted Harlot Fiber at Etsy.com. This is a fiber synthesis. Fibers dyed in the same dye pot so they will cohesively create a beautiful project. Fluff it into a cloud or card or comb it, spin or felt it. This blend includes Finn Wensleydale Gotland Cross and Teeswater Wools with Sparkly Angelina and Dyed Silk to equal one ounce. I actually have some Romney that will pair nicely with this if I wanted to. It's the same color palette. This is really cute. I like this idea. It's just sort of like a little grab bag. 
like just enough to blend. Angelina! I don't mind the Ziploc bag. I think that that's kind of a smart way to go with something small like this. Ah, here's the Fiber Focus is Portland. This is from um, Shave Em to Save Em. Ooh, and it's raw. Oh, excellent. So the Portland sheep is a very old breed of domestic sheep from the United Kingdom. It was named from the Isle of Portland in Dorset, England. It was one of once very common in Dorset, but now is one of England's rarest sheep breeds. It was one of the breeds used in the development of the pop polled or popular Dorset. The breed nearly became extinct in the 1970s and is still at risk, but the breed has now recovered through efforts of dedicated breeders with the help of the Rare Breed Survival Trust. And I am actually going to open this and see what the raw wool is like. Well, it doesn't smell overly sheepy. A little bit of VM in it, but it's it's lovely soft. Um, it does have some thorns in there, so I would want to be careful with that. Um, but it looks like it's got a nice crimp, nice staple length. That's kind of cool. Be interested to see what it does. Maybe a little feature lock spun something or other. I don't know. It seems like it's a pretty fine... 26 to 31 micron comb or card, depending on the staple length. That's pretty cool. This is Green Parrot is the inspiration for this one, and I think they nailed that. And this is information on Green Parrots. This is Yarn Fairy and the Pixies. Wendy and Caitlin McDonald from California. This is Yarn Fairy and the Pixies. And this is just straight up merino. It's just a dyed parrot inspired. That's cute has some nice color variations in it. Again, I think that I will put this on the blending board and hit it up with my Angora. And this is really nice. This is very squishy. Um, and it, it is just merino, but the colors are cool. I like the little loop that they put it in. That's super cute. I have a avalanche here. Flamingo! This is from Camage Fiber Arts. This is the four ounce roving, I believe. That is just gorgeous. And again, it will get paired with my Angora. Um, I think I might do a grab bag of Angora just to have some like gray and peach and white color variations in there just to increase the the subtle tones. And, oh look at this one, it's all curly. Well that's cute. And then we have little charms in a bag, handmade with love, that's super cute. In a reusable bag. And of course we have to have coconut. Blech. It's not just blah, I can't actually even open it. And these are Tootsie Roll Easter Eggs, which I also cannot eat because they have palm oil in them. Blech. Actually, none of my family can eat them. So all these are just going to go in the garbage, unfortunately, but I like that you get candy. I can't eat it. That's okay. So, this was the spinning box. So awesome! So we have postcards, and bookmarks, and fiber prep instructions, a pink flamingo, 23 micron merino, 
the beautiful Rolex, the gray and red, the parrot green merino, avalanche, the fiber focus Portland, which is the raw locks, the male ring, ring neck pheasant blend of Finn, Wensleydale, Gotland, and Cross from Fiber Synthesis, Alexandra Art of Yarn, the 19 micron merino, which is kind of cute, this absolutely gorgeous peacock blend from Twin Mommy's Creations. The really wonderful Alpaca Blend from Alpaca Serenades with tea. Based on this gorgeous bird. So I'm going to gray out. And then this thing, which I think might actually be my favorite. I think this is my favorite right here, guys. This is a Merino and Tensile by Samantha J's Fiber Farm. That is absolutely gorgeous. Not that I have to pick favorites, but they're awesome. Okay, so that is April 2019 Spinning Box. It's a whole lot of blues and pinks and greens and purple. It's pretty cool. I am fairly stoked with this box. It was about $54 with shipping. Totally worth it for the amount of fiber that you get. Really what's worth it is finding new fiber artists. I mean, it really, these things are only like an ounce each, which isn't enough to do much of anything with, even if you're combining it like all together or with another fiber. But finding fiber artists is the main purpose of this, and this is just great for that. So. Yay! New fiber artists to spend money with. <laughs> My mother hid this from me today so that I would do the things that I'm supposed to do today. So I'm going to go do those things so that then this afternoon I can play with this. So awesome! Thank you, Mary! Mary Pavis Ed Egbert from Kamaj Fiber Arts does the spinning box. I highly recommend her. She is awesome. And all of the artists in the spinning box are awesome.